We want to introduce you to a young man celebrating his graduation from a local therapeutic preschool. At four years old, Aaron has experienced traumatic events and natural disasters most would not encounter in a lifetime. He was scared and his mom wanted to find him help. Meredith Aldis shares his story and talks about the support he's received. Aaron is four years old. Today, he's a lively, playful kid. His mom says that wasn't the case a few months ago. It's just been me and him, uh, and uh, we're very close. A couple of years ago, Aaron's mother, Dana, was diagnosed with a nerve disorder. She spent a while in the hospital and then rehabilitation. During that time, Aaron stayed with other family members. He couldn't quit thinking about it in the back of his mind. We would be living a normal day and walk through a parking lot and he would look up at me and ask me not to leave him again. And I would say, what do you mean leave you? And he would say, I don't want you to go back to the hospital again. Trying to get past that, another traumatic event happened, the Easter tornado last year. The more he saw tarps on houses, the more he saw broken trees and broken homes. He constantly worried that every time it stormed, we would have to put a blanket over our home. A few months later, what was supposed to be a fun day at Sokia Water Park turned into a disaster. While Dana and Aaron were taking the train from the water park back to their car, lightning lit up the sky. A uh, tree came crashing down on top of our train and it literally trapped us. Dana says the trio of traumatic events changed her little boy. He didn't want to go outside on a rainy day, and he started acting out at preschool. He's terrified. He's so scared. He lives with so much fear. Dana says she knew Aaron needed help and asked for it. The McNabb Center was their saving grace. Aaron entered the 10-week therapeutic preschool program. There were a number of things that felt very out of control and uncertain to him, so knowing that there was a plan, safe people, safe places to go to in the event of these situations helps ease that anxiety. Dana says recently she was back at Lake Winnie and it started pouring. She says she was getting upset because she didn't want to relive what happened on the train and didn't know how her son was going to react. but. He said this. Mom, it's really okay. Sometimes the wind just makes the tree say hello to you. Dana says she realized he learned those coping techniques from his teachers at the McNabb Center. Now Aaron is heading to kindergarten and his mom says she's not even worried. The McNabb Center helps people of all ages, no matter if they can pay or not, through their foundation. If you'd like to help people who may be struggling, we have information on how to do so inside the WRCB app. Reporting in Chattanooga, Meredith Aldish, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.